Hi all folks, this is Max from NexusSHacks.com. So today we're going to root our Nexus S 4G. Um, this work method works on all uh, all versions of Nexus S. This is the new guy. Uh, sorry about my older guy, which only worked on the T-Mobile. But the new guy, uh, basically we're going to install drivers. Uh, we're going to do the OEM unlock using Fastboot. And then we're going to install the recovery which works on all versions of Nexus S and then we're gonna zip the super user files um, to your Nexus S. Uh, you won't lose anything using this method um, you don't have to you know do anything like that so let's go do it this is the universal guide so let's go to our computer oh sorry first what you want to do is um, basically um, let's put it in fast boot so we're going to turn off our phone, power down, power off, okay. Next what we're going to do is hit the volume up button, hold it down, and then hit the power button to get into bootloader. Alright, once you get into this bootloader, it'll say fast boot mode at the top, you can see. Now connect your USB cable to your computer. All right, and let's just say, um, yeah, well, that should be fine. Once it's connected, let's go to our computer. Let's go to our computer, uh, and you're going to go download Nexus S root new dot zip. It will have all the files you need there. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is uh, this also works on Mac, Linux, or uh, Windows. Um, for Linux or Mac, you just have to use, uh, instead of ADB, uh, change that with dot slash ADB dash Linux. And also for Fastboot, actually we're not using ADB. Uh, for Fastboot, you can just change Fastboot to dot slash Fastboot dash Linux. I'll have uh, uh, more, you know, what to type for Linux or Mac in the descriptions below. So please check it. What you're going to do next is make sure your driver is installed. Go to Start, Control Panel, Hardware and Sound and open up device manager and uh, if you get something like this but this here for this is for Windows only by the way Linux or Mac you don't have to install any drivers if you get something like this and uh, you connected your phone via fastboot then you have to double click on this and update the driver and uh, go to the directory where you unzip nexus s root new dot zip so I'm gonna do that oh actually let me uh, hit update driver here's how you do it browse my computer for driver software and uh, let me pick from a list of device drivers on your computer and say show all devices this is the best way that's what I'm telling you next and say half disk and browse to the directory where you unzipped the uh, Nexus S um, root new that one alright and then go to USB driver and then just hit Android Win USB dot inf I think and hit OK and you should get three of these. Pick the Android ADB interface. All right next. And you might get an error. Just say yes. And just say install driver anyways. If it all goes right and you get a little ADB sign there, then that means you are ready to go and your drivers are installed. All right, so it has successfully installed. And if you got to this uh, part, congratulations. That's actually the hardest part about rooting. So next, uh, once that's done, um, let's go open up, not Winamp. Uh, let's go open up a command prompt. Um, and we're going to go unlock our phone here. Go to start search and type CMD. And you get a, uh, a command prompt like this. And uh, when you unzip your Nexus as root new, um, you have to go browse to the folder. What you do is you use this command called cd. And this is actually backslash, you know, this way. Uh, and you go to the directory you want to go. Um, so Nexus S root new like that. And it should get in there. But let's say your directories um, on your desktop. What I advise you to is just move it to your C, C drive. Um, so you can find it. So make sure your folder is in there. That's you know the easiest way I can explain. 
a lot of people having trouble. Um, just put it, you know, in your root directory. Or if you have uh, Linux or Mac, I hope you know how to use CD, CD, and it's the other slash and wherever you, you know, unzipped it to. Um, so once you're in this directory and you don't get any errors, um, next what we're going to type is fastboot OEM unlock. All right. And for those of you on Mac or Linux, it's dot slash fastboot dash Linux like this or Mac like this. All right. But for Windows, it's like that. And we're going to type enter. And we should be getting, um, sorry, my phone's tangled with my, my camera here. We should be getting uh, something here. So I'm going to type that and enter. Voila, so it says uh, unlock bootloader, say yes. You can always lock it back, um, back to factory. And then hit the power button, unlock bootloader. All right, so that pretty much unlocks your bootloader. Um, next, what we're gonna do is flash the clockwork mod recovery. So what we're gonna type is fastboot, uh, space, flash, space, recovery, space recovery 3101.img this will basically flash uh, clockwork recovery into your Nexus S or Nexus S 4G um, completely harmless it doesn't do anything but get you recovery uh, and enter and then it should be successful and then we can go to our phone actually I'll just do it on the screen here let's see Let's go to our phone, and what we're going to go is um, go down to, use the volume down, go down to recovery, and press the power button here. Okay. And you should be booting into recovery with the logo, and this should work mm -hmm. on all Nectus mm -hmm. S's. And you should get this orange menu. Then this is all you need, and uh, what you're going to do is go go down to mounts and storage alright and we're gonna copy over the super user zip file so we can zip it you can also reboot your phone and uh, you know connect it as disk drive but this is simpler since we're already in here uh, go to mounts and storage and hit the power button and go to mount USB storage and hit the power button alright and let's go back to our computer and it should pop up um, as a disk, um, disk drive. So I've got it popped up here. Um, so it's right there. That's the E drive. And what we're gonna do? Oh, sorry, can't see. What we're gonna do is copy over this file. Right-click, copy, and we're just gonna copy it into the E drive and paste. And that should take no time. And as you can see, uh, I have superuser.zip. So let's go back to our phone and we're going to zip the super user file. Um, go back and hit the power button. Go back and hit the power button. And install zip from SD card and hit the power button. Choose zip from SD card, hit the power button. Super user zip, select that, hit the power button. Say yes, install super user zip, hit the power button. And that should install and uh, go back and reboot. And hopefully your phone is completely rooted. Um, and actually when you unlock bootloader, it might actually reset your phone settings. And so you might have to go through that again, but we'll find out here. So I'll be back. I'm gonna go have a smoke real quick. Hi old folks, so I've got it um, rebooted. And let me go see. Oh. Let me take this out. Okay, so it reset it uh, back to thing. So when you root, you'll lose your contacts and stuff. You have to reset it. Um, so keep that in mind. And uh, you, there's a bunch of apps you can use actually to save your not apps, I think contacts and stuff. Go search it on the market. There should be some kind of backup. Maybe I'll do a video on that. 
Um, but apps, you can, you know, if you pay for it, you can always sign in again and install it. So right now, I guess that's the only option. Um, so I'm just gonna skip um, working, and let's double check that our super user is here. And voila, and this should work on Nexus S 4G or Nexus S, any kind of Nexus S, um, because this, this doesn't touch anything. It just uh, it's just a recovery image that goes into your recovery, which is same for all the Nexus S, and also um, also the super user you install top of uh, whatever whatever Nexus S you have. So I hope this guy. Uh, will help those people root. It took me what like 10 minutes to root it. Very simple um, Go do it uh, this you know my previous method was uh, Messed up kind of because it was actually uh, Flashing boot image and if you didn't have the ne right Nexus S T-Mobile then you might end up breaking your phone kind of um, but, but this method it doesn't it's completely safe um, so I hope this clears everything and you can go root your phone, Nexus S, Nexus S 4G, whatever you're on. Uh, this doesn't touch any of your radios or anything like that. The only thing, uh, again, just installs the recovery image. And if you like this video and you root it, make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that favorite button or the like button. Uh, thanks y'all and subscribe. I've got a load of uh, Nexus S, Nexus S 4G ROMs. Um, the best of the ROMs coming soon and check out my site at nexus.shacks.com. Okay, I'm getting hungry. I gotta go eat. See y'all later.